guys, so today I'm going to show you my sneak peek plans for the Anti-Kirk Time Headquarters. Well, to, um, I'm actually going to show you what it will look like. So, you go in here, there's a sign saying welcome. Um, I don't know where those shadows are coming from, but I, I'm not sure. And I don't know how to turn shadows off for these um, assets. So, in this service room, there's a service elevator. And it, the 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 HQ is not done yet. There's going to be three elevators in there, but I only put one for only demonstration purposes. The HQ is not open yet. So here's the fire alarm system, and that's the pulse station. That's the panel, and that's the um notification device so let's play it and to show you mm. I yes I loaded Adonis admin um, if you're wondering how I open this box you use the um, apostrophe key I'm gonna use give me all I put triangle key, access card, and reset key into server storage while visitor card's in starter pack. And I'm just going to fly. And I'm going to, when I'm not flying, speed me 50. Oh. Um, in order to fly on PC or computer, you must use the WASD keys. Arrow keys will not work. Please excuse the lag, I'm not sure what that is. So in order to activate a two-stage fire alarm, click on that and then... Yeah. I'm going to reset the pulse station. Yes, the reset key does work. Attention. Attention, attention, an emergency has been reported. And to All reset the system, click the system reset button. And yeah. Oop, I'm going to use access card. Yes, I do know how to wire this up. I got that from a video. Yes. There it is. I only put nine floors because, um, well, this is exactly going to be 32 floors. Um, I will sometimes feel tired making this, but it will come soon, like in a few weeks or next month. So please make sure to stay tuned for that. Um, yeah. Oh, my bad. Yes, I rebranded this to a service elevator using diamond plate walls yes all the doors work I'm using office door single two because that's what I think it would be Oop, I accidentally turned on shift lock You can also press buttons while using a tool, while um, specific tools don't let you press buttons. So, let's go to one. Yes, you see the time, it's 11.42 a.m. Press the exit button. I'm gonna stand clear of the doors. 
because if you would like go behind that door you would probably get squished and you probably would get hurt but um here's some other floors <clears throat> sorry here are the other floors there's floor three this is going to be floor four all the way up here is floor 29 And yeah. If you're wondering how I'm toggling the flight, I'm pressing the E key. Okay. Now, for like writing purposes, let's go to nine. As if it's for a test. Um, when you're programming this elevator to be in letters, um, it does not even work at all. When I tried to put R on an elevator, it does not even work. I'm serious. Okay. And yes, the triangle key does work. My bad, my bad, my bad. My bad. There we go. So. Oh, my bad. I'm, I don't know how to control with this. I'm so, so dumb. So, if you put the release, um, enable. It would like break the elevator down. Let's hold on. Since I like broke it, let's see if it still works. Yep, everything's okay. Jeez, uh, how? Jesus Christ! How do I control my gosh dang keys? Oh, emergency rescue procedure. Yeah, so this is just the lift menu. Um, it's just the same as other Luxier lifts. If you turn this to inspection, um, this will only work for computer devices, not for other devices. You hold the down key. Okay, why is it taking so long? I think it's on floor three. No, it's not. Yep, it's now on one. Yes, it automatically switches to inspect while the car top, that switch if it, that's enabled. But anyways, let's just turn that off. And let's just, um, yeah, I think that's all. Oh, and also make sure I want to prevent spoilers from telling what will be on there. So, yeah. So, I hope you have a great day. So, I hope you have a great day. Thank you guys for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, and I'll see you guys later.
peace.